Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Gosh, I still can't believe it's Christmas. It's this year has just absolutely flown by just so quick. Today is the day before Christmas Eve, and today, as always for us, is a cleaning the house, finishing any last minute presents that need wrapping, and just getting the house nice and tidy because Christmas is our house. We need to make sure it's in and um, looking good and everything's organised and ready. So. Today, this um, first part of the day, well, I mean, it is, what time is it now? It's coming up 10 to 12. <laughs> um, is, is tidying up, tidying up, packing the bits, and then later on this afternoon, me and my mum are going to do a bit of baking, which we haven't done in absolutely ages, so I think it's going to be jam tarts, and mince pies, and bake all tarts as well. Okay, so it's an at-home, no makeup kind of day, hence why I look like this, so pale. <laughs> and then tomorrow, Christmas Eve, is when we turn into little elves and we visit all of our family, giving them all their presents. So, yeah, let's get started. had a little bit of a change of plan. The plan today was clean the house, do everything for Christmas, wrap the presents and then bake. However, it's pretty much, it's five to four now and my mum has only just got in the shower <laughs> because we've spent all day cleaning, tidy, tidying, um, decorating the dining room because we're hosting Christmas um, again like we always do. Um, so we had to set up all that, all the table needs doing, the crackers, the table presents, everything. You know it's like a Christmas. Everything's like ten times bigger. Um, so that's all bit I've been sorting out then. We end, well, I have actually ended up pretty much tidying and cleaning every single room in the house. Noon, instead of baking, we are being elves tonight and taking everyone their presents, delivering cards, etc. etc. And then tomorrow in the morning, it's going to be spent baking so that way it's all fresher for Christmas Day rather than being sat there for the whole day, it's only going to be sat there for half a day. Then in the evening, we're going around to our friend's house for a Christmas Eve dinner. We've got, I think, we're having probably an Indian takeaway, a few glasses of wine and what have you, and then we'll go and um, we'll walk back ready for Christmas day. The plan now, reschedule, it's, oh, I forgot how much tidying takes it out of you, especially when, because I'm so used to just tidying like the kitchen and um, our bedroom, which isn't very big, but then when you have a whole house to tidy, whoo, takes it out of you. Um, but I've, I've just tidied all my bedroom and it looks really nice, so I might give you a little bit of a tour of my bedroom, because it hasn't been redecorated since I moved out, which was probably about six years ago. God, six years ago. It still stayed the same really, just a few things have been taken away. And it's still really, really nice. It looks nice and tidy now, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour because why not? If you're not bothered, turn over now. If you are bothered, just keep watching. As soon as you come in, this is what you get. Yes, it's very pink. <laughs> very pink and very sort of like glossy. It's behind this door there. And then that in there is my little wardrobe. Um, should it's a bit chipped now, so it's really getting quite old. But this is my little desk of drawers here. 
Um, I think this is a little Matlan candle, um, Dunnell male lamp for my and my lovely grandmother, a little candle. Then we come round here and this is sort of what was my dressing table. There was a chair here but we got rid of it because it looked disgusting and I'm not here all the time so I don't need it. <laughs> So up here I have a beautiful little ballet and um, picture frame that one when I did pantomime and one of the girls and the mum got me for Christmas um, a 21st champagne glass with the butterflies broken off you can see it should be there but it's broken off and um, this was what my cousin did for my um, auntie's winter wedding sort of like little um, party um, favours we all got these um, this was a salted um, caramel hot, cho hot chocolate. You could get a normal hot chocolate or white hot chocolate. This is a little jewellery box um, from my grandma, my granddaughter. I love you today, tomorrow, always. Good. This will be one thing that I'm taking with me whenever I move into my own house. We have a little light there. Hey, hey, hey. I told you, I'm obsessed with glass. These, I believe, are all from a little corner shop in a little village um, where my grandma used to live. And she's... Throughout for a lot of birthdays she got all these and they're just so beautiful, it looks so nice. Photo frame of me and the cat that we had before, the two ragdolls that we've got now, and then just some picture frames. These were what I got for like a 14th birthday and still standing strong. Got this armchair which I believe was from um, Dunelm as well. That is what my mum and dad got me when I went on a cruise ship for a year, so just a little bit of home. And this is my lovely bed. Look at the bedding, I think it's from Dunelm. I love Dunelm so much, all the little cushions. And then over here, these are some more of the little glass ornaments that I told you about a minute ago. This is what you can do with this, is you put your perfume in it, um, and, then, and that one's the same thing as well. Um, and then you can just pat it on your skin with the um, applicators. But I just use them as decoration because they're so lovely. Over here I've got my nana and my granddad. And then over this side of me and my sister. Here we have Audrey Hepburn. People find it weird. Like just this big picture because that's where I sleep there. And then she's like looking at me. And people are like this is so weird. I don't think it is. I don't think it's weird. But yeah so that is my lovely little bedroom that I absolutely love coming home to. Let me see if there are cats in here. Has she left? Oh, she's gone. She's gone. There was a cat lying here, but she's buggered off somewhere. But yeah, so I don't, I'm not sure really what the plan is now. I'm just going to go downstairs. Um, so everything's all tidied up, see if we need to do any... My mum needs me to do any more best bits. And then we're going to go and deliver some presents. So we're on our way now, being elves. Delivering presents. Oh, indeed. Two bags out of about five, I think. <laughs> Sounds as elves here. Maybe I should put this on. No makeup on, oh well. I might join you. Can we show the store? Yeah. Oh god, no. No, that's not cute. We should have all bought a hat if that was what. God was gonna wear. That was, uh, That's that flipping awful. Year, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm no, I meant for delivering the present. Oh, right. Cause Dad's in full costume mode and we're not. So we've just got back home from delivering presents. It was so nice because because now all night my cousins and I we've all obviously grown up. We're all doing our own things now, we've got our own lives. It's only really Christmas time and the occasional birthday where we all actually see each other. Um, and it's so nice And my cousin, the oldest cousin of us all has just, um, she's got two daughters now, one who is turning two and she just had another daughter who is literally three weeks old and she's the most beautiful thing ever. So it's so nice to actually be there when they're babies and like get to watch them grow up. So it's so nice. Then get ready for bed and then go to bed, it's like, like quarter past ten now, um, so I'm gonna get into bed because we're up early in the morning to pop into town to go get a ring resized and then it's back home for a morning of baking. So I'm gonna get into my pajamas and go to sleep. It tires you out visiting family, so it really does tire you out. <laughs> um, so I will see you in the morning. So 
um, just got back from, I went into town, changed a few things, went to Sainsbury's to get a few more um, bottles of Prosecco, wine, beer, all that lot. Just come back, just got to show you our dining room table that we've all set out. We all have a table, Prezi each. Very nice, she's done a wonderful job today. <laughs> We've got lemon curd, raspberry conserve, and matured mince meat. And it's full fat, not gluten free, not sugar free. Proper bacon. So bacon's finished, got a Victoria sponge cake there, mm -hmm. got jam tarts here underneath, lemon curd tarts, sorry, with mince pies underneath there, and then lemon curd and jam tarts over there as well. Mmm. Mm. No, it's not What do you think we're doing over there? Hey, cheeky sausage. What are we doing? Just hoovered that chair. Just got rid of all your fluff. And now you're back on it. What do we say? <laughs> we're a bit chatty today, aren't we, princess? You're on my nicely made bed now. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, are we in a good mood now? She's been mad earlier, wasn't she? Now she's in a good mood again. Hmm? Oh, she's gonna go over here. I'll go all over them. No. No, I don't fancy it today. <laughs> oh. So we've just finished up our baking. Very successful to say I haven't baked in years and years and years. <laughs> oh, there's something on the screen. But what we're going to do now is we're going round to our friends for um, dinner this evening. Um, well, for an, a, a, some sort of takeaway, a few drinks, a few party games, and then they only live about 10 minutes away. So we're going to have a nice walk there, and then a walk back, tire ourselves out, so we'll sleep well before tomorrow, Christmas Day. But I was going to take you with me to over there, but I'm going to leave you here because I'm doing a digital detox at the minute, which is where I'm not going on. I'm using my phone, obviously, because I need to call people and text, and I still have to keep hold of my emails. But no social media, so no Facebook, no Twitter, no Snapchat, no Instagram, um, until Boxing Day evening. So I think... Rather than worrying about having my camera there and doing this and doing that, I'll just leave it because I'm making a video of Christmas Day, which will be nice. So I'm going to leave you here whilst I go and have an evening with some lovely people, some good good company. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Short and sweet, I think. 
say that I uploaded like 20 minutes long and um, but make sure to thumbs up my video and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and have a lovely Christmas day and I'll see you soon bye